loser's bracket, yes? Yeah, it looks like Big Mac and Fax? Yes, Big Mac like and Fax. Um, Fax the Fox main. The Faxy Fox. Um, the Big Mac, the, the Sheik main. And I don't believe he's going to be playing any other characters I've in the bracket today. I've never seen him use another character in bracket. Yeah, we'll have to see. He might have some new tech. Although I think he's pretty confident versus... Fox. Fox. I think Fox. I think Fox is definitely a matchup he wouldn't really be counterpicking him. I mean, like we, we've seen him have like this May versus like Mario and uh, not so much Cloud. Some other characters though. Yeah, but those those 50-50s that disappeared mm -hmm. from the patch, Fox is you know he drops like a stone in the middle of an ocean, so he kind of gets those back. That is true. Um, let's see who Big Mac and Big Mac. Oh no, Big Mac. I think. Uh, I, Going back on what I was saying just now, the train I thought I was going on is like definitely just going to be Cheek Fox. Oh, yeah. we might see a Marth from Fax, but I don't think it's going to be his first pick. No. Um, he's going to go for Fox definitely to start. Fax, though, um, importantly, uh, was actually one of the reasons that we're even having this event. So shout outs to him. Yeah, Fax and Rex, they are the Smash. king and queen of the summit. Yep, king and queen of the summit, Smash Mom and Dad. So this is a lot of fun. Taking care of I am all having, of us. I am having a blast. You are having a blast, and you're also having a booze. That's important. Yeah. It's important. It keeps you on your toes. Oh. Um, it, it, it's, it's Yoshi power juice. Like, it definitely powers up the Yoshi. It's, it's Yoshi secret stuff? Yes. <laughs> I got it from Bugs Bunny on the way up. <laughs> Please don't tell the bartender I called him Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Okay. We got Green Fox. I'm surprised he didn't go for uh, this traffic safety captain fox. That's my favorite fox color. Yeah, that's a good fox color. I, th I think it's the worst fox color, but it's a good fox color. It's a good bad fox color. Is how I feel about it. Um, game one. I didn't see what stage they picked. Okay. Point of listenation. Sorry, I was yawning. FD making a lot of sec sense here. Yep. So we have unrivaled tournaments on Big Man versus HTC Fax, and another matchup with the rival. Mm -hmm. companies here in uh, Chicago. Um, one thing that you're going to have to watch out for for um, Faxis Fox here, that's going to be tough to say for Faxis Fox and Faxis Fox, <laughs> um, is, is how he deals with Sheik's needle pressure. Obviously, you know, you have the reflector, but most Foxes tend to not use the shine for that purpose. Um, and I also am going to be really interested to see how um, he deals with the offstage pressure that she can provide on Fox. Fox has a very, like, needs to recover in certain ways because his side view goes in one direction. Fox can fall into habits if he's not careful. Um, I've, I've known him for that, like, that, that's kind of the last time we played, I was able to beat him because I was really sniffing out those uh, Fox Illusions. Mm -hmm. Fox Illusions is something you've got to be very cautious about. Yeah, and that's actually it. something we even see from top level Foxes too, like, uh, like K7 and Mary, they are also guilty of cycling a little bit too much in predictable situations. Mm -hmm. It's awesome stocks, not necessarily games because they're able to recognize, but uh, Fax is still climbing them, um, to that higher level, so we will see if he is able to leverage the options that he has outside of side B to get back to the stage. Well, he's the highest rated Fox here. That's true. So, good on him for making it this far. Um, and yeah, he's going to look there for the oh, up wow. air. Oh, wow, and side B into up air. Very smart. Got, like, the last possible hit on that illusion. And actually takes Big Mac's first stop. That's something Big Mac has to sniff out, like I was saying. Oh, and he gets the double jump. Wow. Speaking Big of sniffing things out, sniffed out that double jump immediately. Goes into bouncy position. Evens it up without taking any damage. You know, it's funny, because you'd think Fox would have a better sense of smell. Yeah, but, I mean, she's also a ninja, so she's trained to expect what expect. Yeah, maybe, maybe she, like... Spent a week with uh, with like a blindfold on to heighten her other senses, or something. I don't know. That's that sounds pretty superhero-y. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, with with how good Sheik's been for a long time. And now, oh wow, and he actually went up to the stage there. That was an interesting option there. And uh, Mac, Big Mac, with no punish. Yeah, Big Mac starting to run away with this. I don't know what he traded with there. But he traded with something. He's got to be. I mean, he's he's had the opportunity to go off stage here. Even throw a couple of needles will interrupt that and give him a chance to. Yeah, I'm go surprised he's not finish. looking for off stage needles on. on Fox it's like such a delicious little angle mm -hmm. that uh, that's, that's Fox can really, cover that. that. I mean, that's what he has to be careful for though. Is that Fox has such crazy kill power um, with a lot of stuff up smash up air uh, back here. Like those kind mm -hmm. of things are going to be um, kill tools and his percent's climbing, so he, he needs to go for these opportunities that he's getting. The, lo the longer Fox lives for, and it, the the less it matters what percent Big Mac's at right. because of rage. So he's like 105, but it's starting to get a little hairy. 
And Dick Mac hasn't had like a, you know a dominant stage control presence as as we would like nope. in this matchup. And there's there's a little bit of a habit forming there. He, he saw that it worked the side B worked once, um, but now he's actually um, sort of fishing out these pivot grabs, um, and both of these skull doom kind of going to shield the whole thing. Nice. They get a grab. This is the bounce of fish. Good air comes there for the fact that air dodging actually for the first time um, and against any of the bounce of fishes. So um, that was really clever. Mm -hmm. Didn't pay off, but that was really clever. And there it is. Okay, he, he was listening. Finds the Ariel Neal's bouncing fish. That combo is it's sick. The classic. It, that's like the it's like the battlefield. Um, Big Mac's running away. Oh, oh. He, he needs his he needs his own. He needs stuff. his mama monster. Oh, there is a. I don't know if you guys did see this, but there is a like Walgreens or not Walgreens, like some kind of pharmacy drugstore. Yeah, CVS. If you do need some snacks or what have you, might send Joe on a run or something. And he could bring you another beer. Game two, Dreamland. All right, makes sense. I imagine the band was Battlefield then. Um, it's kind yeah. of a typical thing. Oh, I'm surprised like he would want to stick with Battlefield or Dreamland instead. Um, I mean, I suppose like the uh, the the harder time killing, like with the wider ceilings and walls, it kind of benefits Fox a little bit more. Yeah. Simply because Fox has the kill power. Yeah, Fox has the kill power that doesn't really matter as much. So getting the advantage of being able to possibly kill a little earlier off the top. Yeah, and uh, big, oh, oh my wow, goodness. That was really cute. Oh, and this air, this pressure continues. Yeah. He will make it back. Oh, good air dodge there from the facts. Air dodging again, um, something that uh, he hasn't really used all that much. He's just been trying to wait out Big Mac and so back because he's letting throwing out these air dodges so seldom. Um, it's been letting him safely come back. And right now, Fax is getting quite a bit of mileage here off of this recovery attempt from Big Mac. Oh, ooh. And air dying away there. Smart. Uh, the Fax just keeps the control a little bit more and leverage these powerful kill tools that he has. And there, there's the... That's like the Tyrant Cloud, you know? Mm -hmm. just Fishing for back air. That's such an easy move to fish with and auto cancel. Uh -oh. oh, he re grabbed there, but no punish there for Big Mac. And uh, Big Mac's starting to fish these out, like the dare. Yeah. Like he's daring to jab and he's just reading them like crazy. Uh oh, oh. Ooh. And that, that's, that's been so smart from Bex. We saw that kill first stock game one. Um, wasn't able to get it there, but mm -hmm. um, he's only going to need like one of those. He almost frame trapped himself there yeah. by. Uh, like, not kind of air quotes. Oh, Ooh. great tech there from Big Mac. All right, good jump to get out of that one there. Right oh, back. and a really smart shine stall there. Something that we have only seen him do once off stage to delay his recovery. He actually got one there on stage. Um, he's just throwing a lot of options at Big Mac here, trying to be really unpredictable. And there comes the back air. So Very strong stock. The there one thing facts. that we said from facts uh, was like something as he fall in, falls into patterns is actually been his biggest strength right now is that he's been throwing a lot of different looks here at Big Man. Yeah, he he is starting to mix it up a little bit. Like we're, as soon as he said, we're like falling into a pattern, and then he and I'm starting to hit confirm that down air. It's something that you need to really learn. Oh, woo! Okay, persistence here from Big Mac, and see a lot of stock. Oh, and that was not good DI. He went straight up as opposed to, to, to the right, which may have helped him live. I think he tried to DI left, and then it just naturally yeah. went right. Unfortunate there for uh, Fax fans. For the, the, the fangs? I don't know. Don't, don't listen to me. Yeah, that, that, we'll, we'll call that you when you're mulligan for now. Yeah. Um, I'll, this I'll, combo. I'll take, a, I'll take a duff on that one. <laughs> All right, well, back in the neutral. These two, like, again, no one has really been able to super claim stage control. No. A la Ned versus Demitis, where it was just like the games were even because one player would have stage control for 75% of the game in game one, one player would have 75% in game two. It's very much 50 50 the whole time, then who gets the most mileage out of that stage control? And again, Big Mac's starting to pull away a little bit here, but it's always been in these situations that Fax has been able to pull yet another rabbit out of the hat and get back into the game. So all he has to do is avoid these kills. Oh! What a huge air dodge read there from Big Mac. Takes down the Fax machine. Here, hang on. I'm going to I'm going to yell at Fax. Fax. Can you close up blinds?